when it comes to ray diagrams for convex lenses, there are really three possibilities. The object is further than the focal length. This is the primary focus, this is the secondary focus, and this object is further than the focus. The um, object could be between the focus, the secondary focus, and the lens, or the object could be right at the focus, or the secondary focus. So let's draw all three and see what we get. Remember we have three rays that were in the last video. We have a parallel ray, a center ray, and a focal ray. So the parallel ray we draw first. It goes parallel to the principal axis and bends through the primary focus. We have the center ray. That ray just goes through the center and continues through. I only need those two to locate my image. And if I look, the image is going to be right there. So my image is right there. I'm going to do the third ray just to confirm it. The focal ray goes through the secondary focus. When it hits the lens, it goes parallel. So it's through the secondary focus, hits the lens, and goes parallel. So I've located my image. How do I describe the image? Its orientation is inverted as opposed to upright. Its type is real because all three rays actually met. Its size is smaller. Its location is, I have to measure it, but it would look like closer to the lens than the object. And the magnification is HI, that's the height of the image, divided by height of the object. Since the image is smaller, my magnification is going to be a fraction, so it's going to be smaller than one. The other possibility is that the object is between the focal length, or within the focal length, between the secondary focus and the lens. Now this one's a little bit more complicated to draw. So I do a parallel ray, like I did with this one, and it bends and goes through the primary focus. I do a center ray, and it goes right through the center. But it looks like these two rays don't meet. They are drawn them properly. The parallel ray goes through the primary focus. The center ray goes through there. So these two rays don't actually meet. I've got to trace them backwards to find out where they meet. I'm going to take this ray and trace it back a little bit. And I'm going to take this ray and trace it back a little bit. So these two rays don't actually meet, but if I trace them back, they meet right here. So that's the location of my image. Since the three rays did not actually meet, I had to trace them back. This is a virtual image. Um, the third ray goes through the secondary focus. It goes off and doesn't go through the lens, so it's not important to this drawing. So I've used two of my three rays. All three didn't meet. I had to trace them back. But let's look at this one. Uh, the orientation is upright, as opposed to this one was inverted. The type is virtual, because the three rays did not actually meet. I had to trace them back. The size is definitely bigger. Uh, the location is further from the lens than the object. And the magnification, this is bigger than this, so it's going to be greater than one. I measure this, I measure this, height of image over height of object, and it'll be greater than one. So that's the other type when it's between, uh, the object is between the secondary focus and the lens. Now if the object is right at the focal length, then when I draw the three rays, I draw the parallel ray, and it goes off like this. I draw the center ray, and my diagram's a little off, but these two rays become parallel. When the object is at the secondary focus, and the scale is absolutely correct, these two will be parallel. There is no image. What's really happening is at this point, it's transitioning. When the object was further than the focal length, it was creating a real image. As it got closer, it gets to the focal length, and then it doesn't create an image, and then now it's closer than the focal length, it creates a virtual image. So it's kind of like the image is changing from real to virtual at that point. So if I take this kind of lens, if the object is closer than the focal length, I get a, a virtual image that's bigger and I look through the lens to see it. 
if the object is further than the lens, I have to project it onto a piece of paper to get the image. If the object is exactly at the focal length, looking through the lens, it's blurry, projecting it on a paper, it's blurry. There is no image, it's just a wash of light. So these are the three possibilities. You look at these to give you the image characteristics. Sometimes it's bigger, sometimes it's smaller, but these are basically your three possibilities.